Maria, can you tell us a little bit about Startup Wise Guys and the work that you do? My pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. And we're happy to be a delegation to AWE this year. The Startup Wise Guys is the most active B2B investor in Europe in early stage. We have so far invested in over 300 companies to invest and grow. What we're creating is a community of founders that are learning from the practitioners. We have over 500 mentors all around Europe. If you're a startup and you want to bring your business to a completely new level, reach out to wise guys who might know yeah. what to do. XR is a very strong focus for us. So what we decided to do is to show our cohort to one of the most prominent communities at AWE this year. So we're coming to bring all of them. We would love you to come meet our cohort at the startup booth area. Believe me, if you're an investor, you're missing out on opportunity if you're not coming. We're bringing 10 teams that are currently going to start their fundraisers for the seed rounds. Yeah. They are from 16 different nationalities. And it's such a diverse group that works in so many different verticals. I mean, it's your loss if you're not coming. I think it's extremely important to have this event that connects different geographies in the industry. And for us, we want to step out of the, our European bubble and get connection with international communities. We evaluated multiple events. For us, it's extremely important to show startups to the potential investors. What is important here is that you have a density of companies in the early stage that would be interesting for investors. So I was exploring the trade floor and discovered like beside our 10 companies, there will be Korean delegation. Having this density of startups, I strive to get the same density on the investor side, because that would be go-to event for European investors who want to discover XR startups, metaverse startups, spatial startups. Do you have any questions or ideas that you're hoping to bring as a part of this uh presence at the conference? My question is how we transition from 2D interfaces into 3D interfa interfaces and what role would be 2.5D interfaces play in that? Actually, how can we quantify those uh, uh, metrics? What do we count when we measure success in the metaverse and uh, throughout this uh, transition? The second thing is that there is a lot of conversations around Web3 uh, interoperability and how we all will, uh, are going to share everything with everybody. But there is a practicalities to that. I um, want to get myself down to earth and probably some of part of the community so we can have more pragmatic conversation about how we drive business models in that space. I think the biggest question that I should pose for us as a vertical and industry is what are we building? how do we make sure this is the best place for us to be? Because the technology is amazing and obviously it will be immersive enough, enough for us to, you know, somehow reinvent our sociological interactions and impersonal versus virtually personal interactions. But the ethics, the purpose of what we're creating is a very big topic, and I don't think we speak about it enough. So I'm hoping that some very, very important questions would be raised at the conference, and I'm personally happy to discuss that with you. Yes, we will see probably disruption of the event industry in upcoming, like as a consequence of the COVID and all this stuff. So every in-person events in 2022 and 23 will be very valuable for us to establish and still experience those human connections on the physical level when we can hug each other, we can interact. And I'm super excited to be in Lisbon. Looking forward to that. Go to the webpage of AWE, connect to us, discover those startups and schedule meetings beforehand.